Welcome to Vegas Live. I'm Nina, your host, and of course, I have Sonny Charles with me. Um, I, I actually saw you the other day. You were singing with Pier Zadora. Yes. At, uh, Pieros. Pieros. And it was over at Pieros, which is obviously here in Las Vegas. And I just thought, wow, you're so amazing. You're so fantastic. Thank you. And you are just amazing. But you've been in the business a long time. And uh, I've been in the business you, since I was 16. Since you were 16 yes, years old. Yes, and I'm 26 right now. You're 26. So she's so only, only six years, and it seems longer. You <laughs> yes, <know>? yes. <laughs> And you were just saying to me, because I, I never pre-interview my, my guests because I don't like to, and you were saying to me you went for your first audition here in Vegas. In, yes, uh, at the old Thunderbird. The old Thunderbird. It used to be is, a Thunderbird yes. hotel, and, and uh, we came here. I had a group called the Checkmates. The Checkmates. Checkmates was the uh, group I was with, and we came here and we did an audition uh, and failed the audition. You failed the audition, not the yes. whole group did? No, the, the, the whole group. The whole because group we came here. And we failed because we didn't have an act. We were just oh. a dance band. Oh. So they said, we can't use you unless you can communicate with people. And you weren't you singing? Yeah, I was singing, but you know, you have to do more but than that back to, in those days. Back in those days, you had really to have a, an act. Yes. You had to have comedy. You had to have some uh, interplay with the audience. You had to, it was a pretty involved thing. And so we went back and we, six months later, we came back and we passed the audition. Oh. <laughs> So this, and how old were you then? You were what, 17? You know what, no. To, to be honest, I was 24. 24 then? Yes. So you came back and you, and you passed the audition. Now Vegas then and Vegas now is two different things. Totally different. Totally different. Totally different. Now you got to rent the room if you want to work in it, you know what I mean? When he says rent rooms, there's these great big hotels, they have a four wall, a three wall, a two, two wall, wall, and yeah. a one wall, and yeah. a no wall. Yeah, no, no wall means you never get in. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and the wall Trump's going to build. <laughs> <laughs> and Trump's going to build the wall. That's really good. I like that. I like that. So you've seen a lot of difference, but let's go back into your into your life. When you got this gig and everything else, how long were you? That was at the Thunderbird, right? Yes, the Thunderbird was, uh, we never worked there. Oh. The people who, who auditioned us moved on to Caesars. They were just beginning to, they were going to open Caesars. It, Cedars was being built at that time. So we went to the Sands and we worked the Sands um, until Cedars was built. Yes. And then we went over and to Caesars. And then you went over to Caesars. Yes. And that was, I believe, Cliff Perlman used to own the Caesars. That was, that's going back way, oh, way yeah, from Miami. Oh yeah, back in the day, yeah. That's when it was first being built and everything yeah, yeah, else. And yeah. he was from Miami. And, yeah. yeah and very, but so, so you worked at the Sands as well, because Sands was, was beautiful We worked into as the, well. the Sands was a really hot spot back then. You know, Frank Sinatra, Sammy Davis, Dean Martin, all of those guys, the Rat Pack guys. Were, the Rat Pack guys you know, were That's there. where they were. But you had your own show. We had our own show, yes. Uh, we were a lounge act. Yes. And uh, at that point, the lounges were pretty substantial substantial rooms. I was going to say, they were, at that time, they were they were very intimate rooms, but they were very big. They were big, it was but, 600 seats. But they were very nice, they were very beautifully oh, yeah, done. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, it was nice. Everything was state of the art. Yes. And uh, uh, a lot of a lot of well-known acts were playing the lounges, you know, as, a, as opposed to, we had a job at the Sands, when we played the Sands, it was uh, Checkmates, my group, oh, group Righteous yes. Brothers. Oh, the Righteous Brothers, of course. Count Basie's Orchestra. And a review. That was the lounge lined up. Oh, Started at four in the afternoon and went all the way until daylight the next day. So when I asked him a question, when I asked Sonny a question, is there a difference? Yes, there's a big difference. A big difference. A big, yes. big difference. Yes. It's, it's yes. just not the and, same. And the hotels paid us. <laughs> we didn't have to. We didn't have to sit there and try to count heads in the audience to see if we were going to make enough money to pay the band. <laughs> <laughs> Which you have to do now, right? Yes. But, but you know, in all the experiences you've had and everything else, what are a few of the things that you really stood out in your mind and and to go out there and achieve it and to actually get it to achieve it? Well, you know what? It was it was such a uh, an exciting time in, yes. in entertainment because. Um, there was a lot of variety shows was that on, the 70s? on television, the that 60s, 60s the 70s. and the 70s, yeah. and the Mike Douglas show, and the Merv Griffin show, yes. and the Johnny Carson show, and all those shows where you could get the exposure, and you didn't have to be a superstar to get on. No. That's no. how you became stars. Yes, you came on. by being on those shows, and uh, we got to do all of that, and, and played all over, played all over the world. We opened with, with um, we were opening acts with a lot of the 
the superstars at that point. That's a lot of them. Oh yeah, it I was mean, just. So you got quite a history. Are you in the Hall of Fame? Because you should be. Yes, the Hall of Fame here in. in, in uh, the Hall of Fame in yeah. Vegas, you are in. Oh, how and you know what was something that really uh, stands out to me is that the, the Review Journal here uh, had a list of the 50 the most influential acts in Las Vegas. Yes. And my group, the Checkmates, was number 25. Check, oh, how wonderful. Yeah. That, yeah. Was, that was a... So you, you sort of... What, what, what did you do different that sort of put you into that category? When because we first, you were, you know, yeah. you were very big. When we first came here, it was show tunes, uh, standards, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? No, nobody really did. I mean, Willie Nelson was singing standards and show tunes when he played here. So was Elvis yeah. back in, before he became Elvis. Uh, this is Elvis Booth, by the way. You're sitting in Elvis Booth. Oh, it is. Uh, yeah. That is where he used yeah. to sit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, the, uh, but the thing was, when you came to Vegas, you had to have a Vegas show. Yes. A well, real show, like you said, the audition you went to didn't of, do it? Yeah. We didn't do that. No. We did rhythm and blues. And so rhythm and blues. this is where R&B first started coming in then? Yes. When we first came here, it was... Our group, the Checkmates, and a good friend of mine who passed away, Hub Daniels and the Soul Patrol, which was downtown. Mm -hmm. And we were the two R&B acts in town. And people really liked their R&B, the rhythm and blues. Well, the rhythm and blues is, a, is, is just a, a beautiful beat, a beautiful yeah, yeah. Uh, and, performance, whatever you want to call it. It's and plus with that, we, we had a... Uh, we had an act. We were very high energy. Yes. You know, high, high energy act. We sort of. Uh, you didn't stop. You continued. Oh, the, the energy level was there. I'd sing a song and I'd go back and play uh, the, the, the organ and then the uh, drummer. So would you get play, up. not only be a singer, you play many different instruments. Play two well. instruments. And we all switched around and everything. Yes. It, each one of us. You would actually come entertain and them. You had a whole yeah. group that entertained. It was like a review in a way because there were so different singers on different songs. And uh, plus the energy level was just really way up Way, there. way up high. Now what yeah. happened to the rest of the group? Are they still around or? You know, the, the thing about it is, is that uh, we were together for 10 years. The last year we were together is when we broke up. Oh, okay. because is it a good thing or? No, you know what the... No, I wouldn't think it's ever a good thing to break up the, a band. The fact is, uh, the struggle to success never breaks up an act. Success no. breaks up an act. When that's a become, good point. Yeah. That's a good point. When you make it everybody, uh, each people, seemed like everybody in the band got their own camps. And yes. they would go, you don't need these guys, and you don't need these guys, and you should be... And done. then they start splitting and up everybody and everything. Just sort of so what has kept you in the limelight? Actually, at the moment, Sonny, you're appearing, I was, obviously... I was the lead singer. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. You kept it together. I was the lead you singer, were the, yeah. well, he has a, You have a fabulous voice. Yeah, What's yeah. it like working with Piers Adora? Pia is a friend of mine right now. We're, 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 She's lovely. We're, she is absolutely delightful. She is. I'm trying to get her on the show. I can't yeah, get her yeah, on the show. Yeah. I've got to get her on. She's, she's delightful I love her. to work with, and, and uh, we sort of hang out. You know, and she's her, had quite a life. I mean, she's family, had yeah. a beautiful life. A yes. beautiful oh, yeah, life. Yeah. And, and uh, she's just really nice. She she invited me in. I was down at the bootlegger. I was, I was doing it uh, Tuesday nights at the bootlegger. And, uh, and she came by and said, would you be a guest on Fridays and Saturdays with me at the Piero? And I said, okay, and I came and did it, and it just worked out it fine. It just worked out. Yeah, we, we had a chemistry, yes, yes. and uh, it just worked out real well. So she said, uh, she kept inviting me back, and then here so it is. So now you're part of it. Y yeah, yeah. Isn't that wonderful? So then the next thing I no, know. She's an amazing artist. And if you ever get a time, you know, go down and see her, cause especially Sunny too. Oh, what a voice. Yeah. What a voice yeah. you have. Yeah. How have you been able to maintain your voice? Because, I mean, I, I obviously have heard you before, well, but you maintain this sort of this great... I sing every day. I sing every, every day. day. I don't, so it I means don't you take... practice every day. Yes. So you're, when you're at home, you sing and... I sing every day. Uh, it's you just, have a studio at it, your house? It's just like if you're a musician... You play every day. You practice every day. Yes. So I practice every day. Okay. You know, uh, it's been my livelihood all Okay, time. what is the most outstanding thing in your life that has really sort of, you know, you, you, you think of it and you think, I really made it, I really did it, and this has made, my, made you very proud of what you have brought to other people, because you have a gift that you've given to other people. You know, that's an interesting question. The, I've done so many things that I never thought I would do, because, you know, from where I started as a, as a child, yes to do the things that, that, that I've done. I've had, I've had dinners with, with, with world leaders, 
and I've I've had I've played with all of the great stars, and uh, uh, did concerts for a hundred thousand people. It's just hundred thousand people. Can you imagine? Yeah, it's just like no, you can't imagine. You can't. No, you, you until can't. you do it, you yeah. just can't imagine. Yeah. It's just like a sea of people in front of you, yeah. and. Uh, to be able to do all that, you know, and, and and perform with symphony orchestras and to do all the stuff that you that you fantasize you about. You think you might do. You've yeah, actually when, done. When you, Isn't that one? That's when, you, when you're just starting off, you fantasize about all that stuff. Yes. And then, uh, at my point, you know, in my, you know, I'm a seasoned performer now, just putting it nicely. Uh, <laughs> I love the way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a seasoned host. Yeah, yeah. We're both seasoned. Yeah, yeah. See, well seasoned. Take that wherever you want to take yeah, yeah. it. It could be of the season. Yeah. Whatever you want. Plenty of oregano on here. Right a little now. oregano. <laughs> a little sauce. Yeah. But you know, the thing is, I've done just about everything. You've done everything I've done that movies, you probably, I've done you probably didn't know that you would do. So you're, you probably, you're probably very, very grateful for your life. Well, you know what? One thing that I'll say is that. Uh, I never say no to new things. Good if there's something that's scary, you know, Good like acting, and I go, I know I have. I can do it somewhere. I'll, I'll figure I it said, out. I'll let them tell me I can't act. I'm yes. Not, I'm not going to tell myself I can't. No, I'm just going to turn around and say, I can't do yeah. that part. I'm and, and guess what? They told me I couldn't act. <laughs> <laughs> that's even funny. But you did anyway, right? <laughs> I'll do it again. Of course you will. Yeah. Absolutely. Sure, why not? Um, what message, and I like to do this, what message would you like to give to the younger generation of, of how they can sort of become a success like you? Just a little I something. I think the main thing is, is that if, if you're going to do this seriously, then you have to dedicate yourself to it seriously. Yes. You have to work on it every day. The difference between a job and a, and a career is that there are no days off in a career. No. no. You always have to be thinking. You always have to be on. Thinking. You don't have to be physically doing it, but you can't take the time off. No. You have to always be trying to do it. And do not be afraid to take chances. I think that's the greatest message. Yeah. Take chances. Take it chances. doesn't matter because the only person yeah. you might disappoint is yourself. Because you can but always go back and do what you were doing. Yes, you can always go back, but also you can always improve if you didn't do it right to that's take right. that chance. If you don't, if you don't reach out in front of you, you're not going to go there. You just have to just keep moving. So don't forget, Sonny Charles. He's at Piero's with uh, Pierre Zadora <coughs> um, every Friday and Saturday. Yes. Drop down and see him. Absolutely amazing, uh, wonderful performer. Thank you, Sonny, for coming. And no, thank on. you Come very much. Thank, thank you. you. I do Amazing. appreciate it. Thank Wonderful. You. Thank you.